They call this the White House of Cogelo. It's home to perhaps the world's most famous grandmother, Sarah Obama, or Mama Sarah, as she's known locally. Inside proudly hang the pictures of her powerful grandson. But like other homes in the community, it's missing one important feature, light. Mama Sarah watches with interest as volunteers from Greenpeace's solar generation climb her thin roof to install the new solar panel. At the moment, uh, we are doing uh, solar installation. So Mama Sarah can have something like six hours with a, a solar power or with a battery fully charged. The upgraded solar system will power Mama Sarah's lights and television. At a stone's throw of Mama Sarah's house, the local school was built on land originally donated by the Obama family. It provides education for over a thousand students from the area and is named after the famous grandson who visited in 2006. For the students, as for Mama Sarah, lack of electricity is a real problem. Most of the parents are poor, or most of the students are poor. They cannot afford the paraffin. And uh, if they can uh, have access to light, or if they have that uh, electricity, or a source of power, it can really help them, and it can even boost their performance. The school's being equipped with new solar panels which will provide light for the classrooms and power the computer laboratory. The Greenpeace volunteers performing the installation come from the slums of Nairobi and the Kugelo community itself. During a three-week workshop, they were trained on how to install and maintain solar energy systems. I'm Elizabeth Otieno from Kibera, which Kibera is in Nairobi. I think it's going to help us all in the sense that, at least with the idea that we've got from the training, some of us can try to look for a job in like maintaining the solar panels and installing them. And uh, about the climate change, you can try at least to, to mobilize some people, let them know what, what you're doing that is affecting us. Most of Kenya's power is currently generated by hydroelectricity, but severe droughts attributed to climate change are resulting in water shortage and power cuts. Solar power is a clean and readily available source of energy that could make communities in Africa independent from unreliable electricity grids and dirty expensive fuel. I think Africa is the best place for solar energy all over the world. Here we have the double amount of sun hours than in Europe. That means the square meters of solar panels are, have half size for the same amount of energy. By installing solar power in his ancestral village, Greenpeace is also trying to reach out to President Obama on a personal level. For the UN climate talks this December, we do need to pressure President Obama in leading the rest of the world leaders to take action on climate change. Solar energy can be accessed by communities around the world. If governments around the world are actually promoting renewable energy sources, then communities such as here in Kogelo would actually have that power and be, it will be able to leap to the future. <laughs> Inspired by the shining example of a distant president, the students in Kogelo now have the power to become the best they can be.